Why didn't you just yell, look out? Didn't you read my green sheet? Man of action. They come! Hold tight! Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Destro's Desk. Today on the channel, I'm looking at the brand new G.I. Joe Retro Card action figure, Conrad Hauser, otherwise known as Duke. Now I know there's already been a ton of reviews and unboxings of this figure online already. So this for me is not so much a unboxing and review. This is just going to be my personal experience and reaction to this very anticipated figure in this line. We have wanted a Duke figure that has replicated the original version one, three and three quarter inch figure from the GI Joe, a real American hero line. I never did get my hands on the original first wave G.I. Joe classified Duke. I just never saw him uh, available in retail when the uh, the series first started and it has taken to this point to get the figure that I really wanted. I do have the Tiger Force version but uh, still that to me is not the definitive Duke that I want on my shelf with these guys. This is the one that I've wanted. So in Canada, it has just started shipping from amazon.ca. If you are still looking to pick this guy up, he has been out for a little bit in the States. He has been shipping, everybody's been getting him. And I know everyone's been very happy with this figure. So let's stop rambling and let's get this guy opened up because I want to see exactly how this guy looks and get him on my shelf because he is going to be front and center. Hasbro has definitely given us some amazing card art for this figure. A total homage to the original figure and box art that came with the Real American Hero version one three and three quarter inch figure. Very much the same picture, just updated a little bit. As you can see, we have lots coming with Duke. A lot of it is replicated from the original. And we've got the Duke figure. We've got some uh, extra hands. We've got fists in there. We've got a knife. We've got his blaster. We've got a handgun. Back in there is his assault rifle and his binoculars. Uh, we've got his backpack and something I know everyone's really wanted. And that is a replica of his helmet with visor just like we got with the original figure and he also comes with a display stand and as you can see on the back there we get a nice large file card with duke we get the three photos of the figures from this wave ricondo scarlet and duke i'm still waiting on scarlet hopefully we'll be here very soon all right, so we got Duke's backpack. So this is a backpack we've seen before. Uh, this is the one that they are using for Duke in the different versions. This is molded in a uh, beige plastic. There is some paint apps on the canteen lids. There is a shovel on here or a excavating tool. And on there is an inscription printed on there and it says GI Joe, a real American hero. Wherever there is trouble over land and sea and air, G.I. Joe is there. Not sure if they really need to put that on there. It's not so bad they did, but I uh, didn't think it was really necessary. So that's about it for the backpack. Just we, we've seen it before and uh, I'm glad they put that paint app on there on the excavating tool. That looks really good. We've got a knife with Duke and this knife is just molded in a uh, in a brown plastic for the handle. Got a silver paint app on the blade and there is also a gold paint app on the end of the knife. We also get a handgun for Duke, just a plain flat black molded plastic. No paint apps on there, but a uh, good looking handgun for Duke. And then we get into his rifles. So we have the assault rifle. Now this one is in a exact replica of the original assault rifle that came with Duke in the original version one figure. This is just molded in this uh, olive drab green. And this was the same color of the weapon that we got with that original version one three and three quarter inch figure. So that looks really good. I'm glad they gave us that, uh, that exact replica. Definitely have to have that for Duke. And then we have his laser rifle, more commonly shown in the cartoon. And again, the gun is molded in that same all drab plastic. And we do have a nice paint app, uh, a dark brown on the stock of the gun. I don't think it's black, but it's a very almost dark brown color. But on camera, it does kind of look black, like a flat black. But a great looking rifle there is what we see him holding on to on the card art. So that's gonna look really good. The quality of it's not too bad. It's still, still gummy, it still, still bends. 
Um, it is a little bit thicker plastic, so there's a little more weight to it. But I like that gun, so that looks great. We do come with a uh, just display stand on there. I kind of wish they would have put the names on them like we got on the uh, 25th anniversary stands. They could have done that. And something new, we get uh, some binoculars. And again, this is like an exact replica of the binoculars that came with the original Duke figure. And these are just molded in a, in a black plastic. There's no paint apps on there, but that's gonna look really good around Duke's neck. And then we've got that helmet. So just a very plain, basic military helmet. It does have a clear face shield or eye shield on there that does move up and down so really happy to see that this that this figure came with this helmet and many more of the original figures from the uh, three and three quarter inch line will probably be coming with these helmets also definitely something we want to have for this duke figure and the original figure came with just the helmet did not have a visor on it so we'll see how that looks on duke in a minute and then we've got two fist replacement hands so some good work on there definitely showing a tightly clenched fist so there's some good uh, sculpting on there and we'll switch those out shortly also all right and for duke this is definitely the figure i wanted so we've got a great looking head sculpt they did update this head sculpt a bit from the original figure in the classified line i think this head sculpt looks much better it uh does show a great young version of duke they did a really good job on the hair on this guy. There's a bit of a wash in the blonde hair and it definitely shows all the line work and flow to the hair. Kind of slicked back a little bit to the back and to the side. Looking at that face sculpt, just looks really, really well done. They definitely didn't mess this one up. The eyes are definitely on point. The eyebrows look great. The lips are perfect. He definitely just looks like a flawless looking face sculpt for Duke. For the upper torso, so we have Duke's signature looking beige button down shirt. There's uh, sleeves rolled up there a little bit on the forearms. He does have a green shirt underneath where you can see that collar popping up over top of the other one. We got two pockets on the front molded in on the chest. We got some buttons going down the middle. Uh, we do have a, a gold painted medallion on the chest of his shirt there. We do have this cross chest belt on him. There's some pockets molded in there. This is all in a little bit darker green. So I'm glad they did that. They broke up that green color from the pants and from that collared shirt. There's a black grenade molded on there and it does sit pretty securely. I like how they did that around. It is fitting pretty good it's it, it does move but uh, when it's in place it just it sits very nicely his right shoulder we have an american flag and if you're wondering why the american flag looks like it's backwards this is the direction of the flag when these guys are going into battle so that is the direction how they put it on there and moving down so with the pants now the belt on the pants is molded as part of the sculpt is that same olive drab molded color there are two pockets on the front there that are molded some uh, utility pockets and those have a brown paint app on them so it's nice to see they did uh, they did that to break up the color a little bit nothing along the back of the belt and for the pants same olive drab color all molded in that color we have a pocket on both sides and we do have the gun holster that's attached to his right thigh area. And then moving down, we have got a knife sheath that is attached to his left ankle of his boot. And we've got some really nice brown boots on this guy and they are just molded in that brown color. So overall, the look of this figure, I think is just fantastic. Like I said, this is the figure we wanted. It's the figure I wanted, and I could not be happier with the way this guy looks. Like this one is just fantastic. I'm so glad they did this retro card Duke figure and they gave us the figure to replicate the original. And for the articulation, so for the head, We've got uh, total 360 movement there. Uh, we do have neck movement for the arms. So these arms nicely extend out to that T pose. Everything stays in place and that looks really good. Now these shoulder joints here, butterfly joints, what we would, we're calling them. I did notice these have a lot of movement, really good movement. Probably the best I've seen on a figure yet and which is really going to do a lot for posing for this guy holding uh, both hands on the guns so that looks really well done there and they're not too loose at all they're just perfect 
Now we don't really have the, uh, the typical ab crunch that a lot of the figures have. This is more of like a rib cage. Now the, this doesn't have a whole lot of up and down movement at all. It's just a little tiny bit. There is a little bit of left and right movement. So there could have been a little bit more movement there, but uh, overall it's not too bad. We got double pinless elbow joints and the elbows move nice and freely. There's nothing sticking there. So those look really well done. So that's good. And then we've got uh, the wrist movements. We got those extra hands we can swap out. They'll just pull out easily, hopefully. For the waist, we have some good waist movement. The waist is not loose. It is in there very well. So there's no problem. It's not too wobbly or anything. So that's really good. We got the usual, we got the drop down hips. So there's lots of movement in the hip area. And the usual thigh twist and the movement there is good. And for the knees, the knees do articulate well. They're not stuck. Nothing has to be heated up. So that's good. That's a good bonus. So definitely good movement on the knees. They will definitely stay in place for posing. And for the boots, we just got that usual. We got the boot cut. We got the ankle swivel left and right. We got up and down movement, same on both sides. So there's no issues there. So what can I say guys? This is definitely a fantastic figure from all aspects. The look, the articulation, everything about this figure is amazing. Something I want to mention to you guys, just want to thank all my recent subscribers and to all my subscribers that I have. Thank you so much for subbing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And guys, if you're looking uh, still to get Duke, if you're in Canada, I would definitely hit up Amazon. It's available now now i know a lot of people have already been getting them i've been seeing on facebook and uh they've been getting the cards uh delivered really well there's been no damage the card is that thicker card stock so there's been uh, so no issues there but i can tell you from my first reaction to this uh to this figure this one is going to be one of my favorites and as i'm sure it will be for a lot of you so let's get some of these weapons on him and uh see how he looks all right so we'll throw some of these weapons in the holster and sheath so we got that handgun which will slide right into that holster and that fits in there very well and we've got that blade and we'll get that down to the knife sheath and that slides in nicely we've got his backpack and there is a hole in the back of that cross strap that will line up and we've got a really good fit on the backpack that should stay on there nicely and not fall off so that looks really good and those binoculars around his neck now those kind of stick out a little bit just with that belt across his chest maybe we'll just kind of hang them off to the side there a little bit like that and we'll get that helmet on him and a really nice fit for that helmet nicely stays on there secure doesn't wobble around or anything fits on there really well so there he is with his helmet and we can bring that visor down so that looks really good i really like that and then we've got the two rifles we got the assault rifle that is a replica to the original that came with the figure and that fits in his hand nicely trigger figure fits in there perfectly so that one looks really good no issues with that gun at all and we can throw the other one in his other hand and same thing that works really good in his hand trigger figure fits in there perfectly that looks awesome what a figure i can't believe how awesome this guy is pictures are a one thing but this in hand is just outstanding i do not think they could have done any better on this one so that is the weapons and we can switch out and switch out those hands now i probably would have preferred instead of being two fists it would have been nice maybe if one of these was a pointing finger i think that would have looked good just as a as a finger to point as they're going into battle but we can't have everything so there he is with those fists and they slide in and pump back in really nicely so there we go so there he is guys, there is the Retro Card Duke action figure from Hasbro as part of the G.I. Joe Classified series line. What an outstanding figure, I cannot say that enough. This has to be probably the best figure they have done so far in the line. The captures, the feel of the original figure for all that nostalgia feel. This is definitely the six inch version of Duke that you must have in your collection. Even if you don't collect many of the classified figures, if you want Duke in your collection, this is definitely the one to have. This guy's gonna be standing front and center. I'm gonna have to do some rearranging on my shelf, get all those original guys all lined up and I might just have to throw them in the vamp. Maybe we'll throw them in the vamp for a bit too, who knows. But guys, stick around. 
I will throw him now into some poses. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And guys, if you like this video and you like this Duke figure, hit that like button and definitely hit that bell so you know when my next video is up and ready for you guys to watch. So until next time, guys, yo, Joe.